Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, and welcome to InDesign Effects. In this week's effect, we'll see how to set text vertically so the letters are stacked one on top of another. The keys to setting text vertically is to set it on a straight vertical path and use the Type on a Path option called Stair Step. So let's see how it's done. In my document, I'll create a new page by pressing Command-Shift-P or Control-Shift-P. I'll press the W key so I can see my margins. And I'll take my Line tool and click and drag while holding Shift to constrain to draw a straight vertical line inside the margins. Then I'll take my Type on a Path tool and I'll click and drag to set endpoints. I'll type some text. I'll make it a little larger. and center it. Now I can go to Type, Type on a Path Options, and change the effect from Rainbow to Stair Step, and click OK. Now the text is crunched up a little bit here, so I'll track it out, and that looks pretty good. But can you see the problem with it? If I look down at the word text, the last letter is out of alignment with the others. This is just sort of an artifact that comes along with the Stair Step effect. So to overcome this, what I need to do is add an extra character here after the last character I want to see, and then make that extra character invisible. So I'll take my Type on a Path tool, click in here, and I'll just add a period. I'll select that period, which I don't really want to see, go up to my Control Panel, and set the Fill to None. That pushes the T back into alignment with the rest of the letters. I'll zoom out, and I'll also remove the stroke on my vertical line. And there's my vertical text. So I can also enhance it by adding a background color, I'll create a large frame, fill it with black, send it to the back by pressing Command Shift or Control Shift left bracket. I'll lock it by pressing Command or Control L. And then I'll drag over to select my text. And in the swatches panel, select my text formatting and change it to green. And remember, I have to change the fill of that last object to None. So I'll double click, select it, and set the fill to None. I'll press W to preview, and there's my vertical text. In this video, we saw how to set text vertically by placing it on a straight vertical path and using the Type on a Path option called Stair Step. And remember, it's also necessary to add one extra invisible character at the end of the text to keep things aligned. I'm Mike Rankin, and I'll be back in two weeks. Thanks for watching.